I started on a journey 30 years ago and I worked in mines, and I realized that this was a world unseen. And I wanted, through color and large format cameras and very large prints, to make a body of work that somehow became symbols of our use of the landscape, how we use the land. And to me, this was a key component that somehow, through this medium of photography, which allows us to contemplate these landscapes, that I thought photography was perfectly suited to doing this type of work. And after 17 years of photographing large industrial landscapes, it occurred to me that oil was underpinning the scale and speed, because that's what's changed. It's the speed at which we're taking all our resources. And so then I went out to develop a whole series on the landscape of oil. And what I want to do is, is to kind of map it an arc, that there's extraction, where we're taking it from the ground, refinement, and that's one chapter. The other chapter that I wanted to look at was how we use it, our cities, our cars, our uh, motor cultures, where people gather around the vehicle as a celebration. And then the third one is this idea of the end of oil, this entropic end where all of our parts of cars, our tires, oil filters, helicopters, planes, where are the landscapes where all that stuff ends up? And to me, again, photography was a way in which I can explore and research the world and find those places. And another idea that I had as well that was brought forward um, by an ecologist, and he basically did a, a calculation where he took one liter of, of gas and said, well, how much carbon it would take and how much organic material, it was 23 metric tons for one liter. So whenever I fill up my gas, with, I think of that liter and how much carbon, and I know that oil comes from the ocean and phytoplankton, but he did the, did the calculations for our earth and what it had to do to produce that amount of energy. From a photosynthetic growth, it would take 500 years of that growth to produce what we use, the 30 billion uh, barrels we use per year. And that also brought me to the fact that we, this poses such a risk to our society, um, looking at 30 billion uh, per year, we look at our two largest suppliers, Saudi Arabia and now Canada with its dirty oil, and together they only form about 15 years of supply. The whole world of 1.2 trillion estimated reserves only gives us about 45 years. So it's not a question of if, but a question of when peak oil will come upon us. So to me, using photography, and I feel that all of us need to now begin to really take the task of using our talents uh, our, our, our ways of thinking to begin to deal with what I think is probably one of the most challenging issues of our time, how to deal with our energy crisis. And I would like to say that on the other side of it, 30, 40 years from now, the children that I have, I can look at them and say, we did everything we possibly humanly could do to begin to mitigate this, what I feel is one of the most important and critical um, moments in our time. Thank you. Traffic is a global epidemic. US traffic is creating 45% of the world's air pollution. In the UK, time wasted in traffic costs 20 billion a year. Would you pay for cleaner air and a faster commute? Stockholm put it to a vote. I voted for it, yes. I voted for it. I vote for it. We're not old enough to vote. Vote. <laughs> We had to do something in Stockholm to improve the environment and to get a better flow in the traffic. We put a price on taking your car into the central parts of Stockholm and we call that congestion charges. If you start a system like this and it doesn't work on the first day, then you will be in big trouble. It must be perfect from day one. There are 18 entry gates to the city. Each is equipped with cameras. Pictures are taken of the rear and front license plates. These pictures are sent to a central system that identifies the license plates and makes sure that the right person pays for the right passages. One of the obstacles we overcame was the OCR, the optical character reading of the license plate. We went out to IBM's global 
organization and the R&D centers and find a very good software we could use. And we managed to implement it in two months time. This is the heart of the system where all images and passages are being processed. Over 99% of all pictures are correctly identified. So it's nice. This is how it should be all the time. Behind me you can see the traffic and the clock is 6 p.m. Before we had the congestion charging, the traffic was chewing up at this time of the day. I think it's a good idea because I think that we should take care of the environment in the city. The traffic went down with about 22% and the air pollution was about 14% better. It's a huge international interest from different parts of the world, from uh, the United States, from Latin America, from China. And it's really a pleasure to tell people not what we are planning to do, but what we actually have done in Stockholm. I voted for it, yes I did. Not my husband, so, <laughs> but I did. I think he is not thinking like me for the future. I'm thinking for the children and the grandchildren.